Lagos is a home to over 6,000 billionaires in dollars and naira, making it the city with the most billionaires in Nigeria. This is a remarkable achievement given that Nigeria is a developing country. But who are these billionaires and how did they make their fortune? In today's video, we will take a look at some of the richest people in Lagos and how they got to where they are today. We will also discuss the factors that have contributed to the rise of the billionaire class in Lagos and what this means for the future of Lagos. The United Nations Journal classified Lagos as Nigeria's richest state, producing about $90 billion a year in goods and services, making its economy bigger than that of most African countries, including Ghana and Kenya. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Atri Joe. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exclusive content. Let's jump right in. Are you all ready for this? Tony Elumelu, CFR, is a Nigerian economist, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. He is the chairman of Earth Holding, a Pan African investment company with interest in financial services hospitality, power, energy, technology, and health care. He is also the chairman of United Bank for Africa, UBA Group, and Transcorp Nigeria PLC, two of Africa's leading publicly traded companies. In 2020, Tony Lumelu was named on the Times list of the 100 most influential people in the world. And according to wetresort.com, Tony Elumelu is set to worth $1.98 billion. The billionaire who began his career in banking in 1985 at the Union Bank of Nigeria was born in March 22, 1963 in Jos area of Nigeria and is wonderfully blessed with five loving daughters. And the billionaire has a brand new private jet to his fleet of exotic cars. Two is Sir Olu Okeowo. Sir Olu Okeowo is a Nigerian billionaire businessman and a real estate mogul. He is the founder and chairman of Gibraltar Construction Company Limited, one of the largest and most respected real estate development companies in Lagos, Nigeria. Okeowo was born in Shagamogun State, Nigeria. He studied estate management at the University of Lagos and is a fellow of the Nigeria Institute of Estate Surveyors and Valuers. Sir Okeowo is not a silent billionaire in Lagos. He is often referred to as a Kafik billionaire. Sir Okeowo currently has six Rolls Royces, two Bentleys, two Jig wagons, and lives in a $12 million mansion in Ikoyi area of Lagos State, where we have the highest concentration of billionaires in Nigeria and is currently set to worth $1.2 billion. And no wonder Okeowo is a role model for entrepreneurs and business leaders in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. So he is a living example of what can be achieved through hard work, determination and a commitment to excellence. Three is opposed to following Shoa Lakija. If you face challenges and you don't run away from them, you will be able to get to the top much faster. Apostle Falong Shualakija is a Nigerian businesswoman, philanthropist, and author. She's the executive vice chairman of Fanfa Oil Limited, an oil exploration and production company. She's also the group managing director of the Rose Sharon Group, a diversified group of companies with interest in fashion, printing, real estate, and hospitality. Alakija was born on July 15, 1951 in the Kourudu area of Lagos State, Nigeria. She is the first of 10 children born to her parents. In 1993, Alakija was awarded a license for a block in the Niger Delta, which was later discovered to contain significant oil reserve. Alakija and her partners formed Fanfa Oil Limited to develop the block. In 2000, Fanfa Oil Limited entered into a joint venture with Chevron Tezako to develop the Agbami oil field. The Agbami oil field is one of the largest oil fields in Africa 
and it produces over 250,000 barrels of oil per day. As of 2022, Alakija net worth is estimated to be $1 billion. Therefore, it is nearly impossible to talk about the top richest and most powerful women in Nigeria, Africa, and the world at large without mentioning the Apostle for Longshore Alakija. Mitchell Elegbe. Mitchell Elegbe is the founder, the group managing director, and the CEO of InterSwitch. And of course, InterSwitch needs no introduction when it comes to integrated digital payments and commerce in Africa. Elegbe was born in Bini and he studied electrical engineering at the University of Bini, where he graduated with honors. Elegbe began his career as a software engineer, and in 2002, he co-founded InterSwitch with the vision of transforming Africa's payment landscape. Under his leadership, InterSwitch has grown into one of the most successful and innovative digital payment companies in Africa. So far, Elegbe is a passionate advocate for the use of technology, to drive financial inclusion and economic growth in Lagos, Nigeria, Africa. He's a regular speaker at industry conference and events, and he has been featured in publications such as Forbes, The Economist, and The Wall Street Journal. In recognition of his achievements, Elegba has received numerous awards and honor. In 2020, he was named one of the Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World. He is also a recipient of the Forbes Africa Person of the Year 2016 and the EY Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Elegbe is a role model for entrepreneurs and business leaders in Lagos, Africa, and around the world. He's a living example of what can be achieved through hard work, dedication, and a commitment to making a difference. So far, Elegbe Network is said to be one. Point seven billion dollars, and his company is situated in the Victoria Island of Lagos, where most billionaires have their businesses and investments located. Ajia Bola Shagaya, Bola Shagaya is a Nigerian businesswoman and fashion enthusiast. She's one of the richest women in Africa. She is the founder and CEO of Bolmos Group International a conglomerate with holdings in real estate, oil and gas, banking, and photography. Shagaya was born on October 1959 in Iloyin, Kwara State, Nigeria. She studied economics and accounting at the Amadou Bilo University, Zaria. She started her career with audit department of the Central Bank of Nigeria before venturing into commercial activities in 1983. Her business experience started with the importation and distribution of photography material. A company has since grown into a conglomerate and is one of the leading real estate developers in Lagos, Nigeria, with a portfolio of over 1,000 properties. Shagara is currently the second richest woman in Nigeria with a net worth of $967 million. Prince Ato Eze <laughs> Prince Atoize is the founder and chairman of Atlas Oranto Petroleum International Limited, one of the largest privately held oil exploration and production companies in Nigeria. He's a major investor in real estate, banking, and aviation. He is an highly respected figure in the Nigeria business community. His net worth is around $5.7 billion, making him one of the richest people in Nigeria and Africa. He currently has two private jets to himself and is also a lover of exotic cars. Born into a royal family in Ukbo, area of Anambra State in 1948, Prince Arthur Eze has a foundation where he provides scholarship to students, builds hospitals and schools and is also a supporter of other charitable causes. Prince Eze is not just a top leading Igbo billionaire, but also a Nigerian and African billionaire. His company, Oranto Petroleum, has operation in Lekki Phase 1 and Abuja, and also in other several African countries like the Guinea and the Equatorial Guinea. Before I mention the next billionaire, 
Have you ever wondered what sets Lagos billionaires apart? Lagos is a land of opportunities and the wealthy know where to invest. In fact, these billionaires have planted their flags in real estate. And if you are looking for investment inspiration, this is the part you won't want to miss. Hello, my name is Folashade Balogun, MD CEO of Amen City Limited. Welcome to Amen Estate Phase 3. Hello everyone, I'm Funke Akindele, a brand ambassador of Amen City and a proud property owner in Amen Estate Phase 1. Amen City has expanded into Phase 3 and I want you to partake in this goodness. In Amen Estate Phase 3, it's a buy and build land. So you're not restricted to architectural design. And now I want to bust land in Amen Vestiri. You know why I like Amen Vestiri? It's buy and beat. If you like, you should beat house. Will be like heck. Be house. Will be like fish head. It's your house. Another reason why I like it is because it's on the expressway. You know that airport where they beat. Amen Vestiri is on that expressway to the airport. And another thing, as you bought your land, they give you your Z of O. There's no hiding. He did. Let me tell you something. You know what I like Amen Vestiri. They have good payment plan. They have good payment plan. They don't know how to So if you build on here, if you pay once, but you know the current jail like me, small small, they feel help you spread the payments. They have got to hear. They have to make sure you build on here. So for me to build on you can't build on here. Baro re help me. Don't use all your hand to hit yo. MF still is so fast. Crap your copy now. Chief Joseph is your car for senior. Chief Joseph Ezio Kafo is an Anambra born Nigerian billionaire. He's a top businessman, an oil tycoon, and a philanthropist. Chief Joseph Ezio Kafo is the founder of Jesco Oil and the father of Nigeria businessman and socialite Joey Zaza. Chief Ezio Kafo was born on April 30th, 1952. He started his career as a small scale trader, but he soon expanded into the oil and gas sector. In 1983, he founded Jesco Oil and Gas, and the company has since grown into one of the leading oil and gas companies in Nigeria. Jesco Oil and Gas has operation in several African countries, including Nigeria, Ghana, and Côte d'Ivoire. In addition to his business interests, Ezio Kafo is also a philanthropist and a major investor in real estate, logistics, hospitality, and agriculture. Ezio Kafo is a well-respected figure in the Nigerian business community and with a net worth of over $2 billion. Oba Otudeko Oba Otudeko is a Nigerian billionaire businessman, banker and investor. He is a founder and chairman of Honeywell Group, a conglomerate with interest in oil and gas, flour milling, real estate and telecommunication. He is currently the chairman of First Bank of Nigeria, one of the largest banks in Nigeria. Under Otudeko leadership, Honeywell Group has grown into one of the largest companies in Nigeria. Otudeko is a respected figure in the Nigeria business community. He is known for his acumen, his commitment to excellence, and his generosity. About Otudeko's net worth is estimated to be over $1 billion. Alan Onyema is a Nigerian billionaire businessman and philanthropist. He is the founder and chairman of Airpeace, Nigeria's largest airline. He is also the founder of the Alan Onyema Foundation, a non-profit organization that provides scholarships and other forms of support to students in Nigeria. Onyema began his career as a lawyer. He founded his own law firm, Alan Onyema & Co. in 1990. The firm has since grown into one of the leading firms in Nigeria. In 2013, Onyema founded Airpeace. The airline has since grown into Nigeria's largest airline with a fleet of over 30 aircraft. Airpeace operates domestic and international flights to over 20 destinations in Africa, Asia, and Europe. And the billionaire's net worth is estimated to be over $2 billion. Yeah, it's good, though. I tell the Peter side, C O N. Is a Nigerian billionaire and a founder of the Stambik IBTC Odin PLC, which is one of the largest financial services group in Nigeria. 
born in the year 1955 in Ogbia, River State of Nigeria, this graduate of economics from the University of Ibadan started his career as a research analyst at the Central Bank of Nigeria. He later joined International Merchant Bank, where he rose to become the managing director. In the 1990s, he founded the Stambik IBTC Holding PLC. Peter Said is a respected figure in the Nigeria business community. He is known for his integrity, his commitment to excellence, and his advocacy for good governance. He is a regular speaker at conferences and events on business, economics, and policy. Peter Said is a recipient of national honor in Nigeria. He is also a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountant of Nigeria. Peter Said net worth is estimated to be over one billion dollars. Chief Michael Adeojo is a Nigerian billionaire businessman and philanthropist. He is the founder and chairman of LZ Group, a conglomerate with interest in automobile distribution, manufacturing, education, and real estate. He is also the founder of LZ University, a private university in Ilara Mokin in Ondo State, Nigeria. Sir Adeojo, who began his career in the civil service, and later left to start his own business. In 1971, he founded LZ Motors, a company that distributes to auto vehicles in Nigeria. LZ Motors has since become one of the largest and most successful automobile distributions in Nigeria and Africa. The company is now a conglomerate with subsidiaries like Toyota Nigeria Limited, Mike Ade Investment Company Limited, and Mike Ade Property Development Limited. Classic Motors Limited, Elizabeth Autoland Nigeria, Okin Travels Limited, Odua Creation Limited, and many more. And as one of the owners of the most successful automobile companies in Nigeria, Chief Michael Adeojo owns a series of luxury cars and owns a series of properties in Lagos, Ondo, and several other areas in the country. Chief Michael Ojo has amassed much wealth through car selling business in Nigeria. Currently, its net worth is valued at $2 billion. Sir Adedeji Adeleke. Adedeji Adeleke is a Nigerian billionaire businessman and the father of Nigeria singer Davido. He is the founder and president of Pacific Audience Limited, a conglomerate with interests in energy, education, real estate, banking, and oil and gas. He's also the pro chancellor and the chairman of Adeleke University, a private university in Ede, Oshun State. Born on 6 March 1956, he attended University of Western Kentucky, where he obtained a degree in business administration. Adeleke began his business career in the 1980s. He founded Pacific Audience Limited in 1987, and the company has since grown into one of the largest conglomerates in Nigeria. Sir Adeleke is a highly respected figure in the Nigerian business community. He is known for his entrepreneurial acumen and his commitment to excellence. He is also a philanthropist who has supported various charitable causes, including free education and health care. Sir Adeleke is one of the richest men in Lagos, Nigeria, with a net worth of over $2 billion. He has private jet to himself and other exotic cars. Sadeleke is a living example of what can be achieved through hard work, dedication, and commitment to making a difference in Lagos, Nigeria. Sadoze Pasca. Sadoze Pasca is a Nigerian entrepreneur and a billionaire businessman. He is the founder of the Once Diamond Bank and the chairman of Pan Atlantic University. An MTN. He was born in 1939, Ebu Village in Owere area of Nigeria. Sadoze began his career as an economist at the National Economic Development Office in the United Kingdom. He was also a part-time lecturer at the Northwestern Polytechnic London between the 1970s and 1971. He returned back to Nigeria in 1971 as an experienced industrial engineer. He launched his first company, the African Development Consulting Group. And this company has worked with companies such as Nestle and Pfizer. He subsequently was hired by Clement Isong, then governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, to head the newly created Nigeria Industrial Development Bank, 
Dozier served as managing director of the NIDB from 1973 to 1977. He founded Diamond Bank in the early 90s. The bank was initially set up to provide financial services to small and medium scale enterprises. Under Dozier's leadership, Diamond Bank grew to become one of the leading commercial banks in Nigeria, and Sir Dozier served as the chairman of Diamond Bank until 2006. In addition to his banking career, Sir Dozier has also been involved in other areas of business. He is the chairman of Pan Atlantic University, a private university in Lagos, Nigeria. He is also a director of several companies, including MTN Nigeria, Unilever Nigeria, and Next to Nigeria. He is a respected figure in the Nigeria business community. He is known for his entrepreneurship and his commitment to excellence. He is also a philanthropist who has supported various charitable causes, including education and health care. Josie's net worth is estimated to be over $4 billion. Olugben Gagbola is the founder of Flutterwave, a payment technology company that provides a range of services to businesses, including online and mobile payments, invoicing, and payment processing. The company has grown rapidly and now operates in over 30 African countries. Prior to founding Flutterwave, Agbola worked as an application engineer at PayPal and in product management at Google. He has also co-founded two other startups called Project Agora and Talent Biz. Born in 1985 in Lagos, Nigeria, Agbola Flutterwave Company is valued at over $30 billion making it the highest valued African startup to date. Agbola is a respected figure in the African tech community. He has been recognized for his contributions to the development of the African tech ecosystem and has been named to a number of lists of young African leaders. In 2020, Agbola was named to Fortune's 40 under 40 list. He was also named to Time's 100 Nest list in 2021. Sakesin Tin Adebutu Sakesinti Adebutu is a Nigerian billionaire businessman, philanthropist, and the founder of Premier Lotto Nigeria Limited, also known as Babai Jebu, the largest lottery company in Nigeria. Born in Ikperu Remo, area of Ogun State, Nigeria, he started his business career as a trader in the early 60s. Then he founded Premier Lotto Nigeria Limited, which quickly became the leading lottery company in Nigeria. Sa Adebutu is also a major investor in other sectors including the real estate, hospitality, and agriculture. He's also a well-respected figure in the Nigerian business community. He's known for his entrepreneur acumen and his commitment to excellence and his generosity. And his net worth is estimated to be over $1 billion. Mr. Leonard Stanley Inam DK is a Nigerian billionaire businessman and philanthropist. He is the founder and chairman of Xenox Group, a conglomerate with interest in technology, oil and gas, power, real estate, and telecommunication. AK began his career as a computer programmer. He founded Tax System Limited, a computer training and software development company. He founded Xenos Technologies Limited, a company hardware manufacturing company. Xenos Technologies Limited is now one of the leading computer hardware manufacturers in Africa. AK is also a respected figure in the Nigerian business community is known for so many things. AK Network is estimated to be over $2 billion. It simply means um, our scarce foreign exchange will be saved and used for other things. Pemel Tedola C.O.N. is a Nigerian businessman, philanthropist, a billionaire and a former chairman of the 40 Oil PLC, an oil and gas company. He is also the founder of Zenon Petroleum and Gas Limited, a major player in the Nigeria downstream sector. Otedola is the son of the Sir Michael Otedola, a former governor of Lagos State. Otedola's Zenon Petroleum and Gas Limited company quickly became one of the leading suppliers of petroleum products in Nigeria. In 2000, Otedola acquired a controlling stake in African Petroleum, AP, a publicly traded oil and gas company. He subsequently renamed the company Forte Oil PLC. Under Otedola leadership, Forte Oil PLC grew into one of the largest oil and gas companies in Nigeria. The company has a presence in over 20 African countries. In 2019, Otedola sold its majority stake in Forte Oil PLC to an Indian conglomerate, 
called Adova PLC. In addition to his oil and gas business, Otodola is also a big investor in real estate and is also a major supporter of the arts and culture sector in Nigeria. Cosmos Madoka Cosmo Madoka is another Nigerian billionaire who started his business career as a spare parts trader in Lagos in 1978. In 1982, he founded Charis Moto, which has since grown into one of the leading automobile dealerships in Nigeria. In addition to his business interests, Madoka is also a philanthropist. Cosmos Madoka is also a respected figure in the Nigerian business community, and his net worth is estimated to be over five. 100 billion naira. Stella Okoli. Stella Okoli is a Nigerian pharmacist, businesswoman, and a billionaire. She is the founder and group managing director of Emzo Pharmaceutical Industries Limited, one of the leading pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria. Born in 1944 in Kano State, Nigeria, she founded Emzo Pharmaceutical Industries Limited with the mission to provide affordable and high quality medicines to Nigerians. Under Okoli leadership, Emzo Pharmaceutical has grown into one of the leading pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria. The company manufactures a wide range of medicine, including antibiotics, anti-malaria drugs, and pain reliever. Emzo Pharmaceutical Industry Limited also has a presence in several other African countries, with its headquarters in Lagos. She is a respected figure in the Nigerian pharmaceutical business community, and as well estimated to be close to 600 billion naira. Chief Mike Adenuga is a Nigerian billionaire businessman and the third richest person in Africa. His company, Globalcom, is Nigeria's second largest telecom operator and also has a presence in Ghana and Benin Republic. He is the founder of Corn Oil, a leading oil exploration firm in Nigeria, also a member of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation Board of Directors. Adenuga has been credited with helping to revolutionize the telecommunications industry in Nigeria and is with a net worth estimated at over $6 billion. Aliko Dangote is a Nigerian billionaire businessman, investor, and philanthropist. He is the founder and chairman of the Dangote Group, the largest industrial conglomerate in West Africa and the richest person in Africa. Born into a wealthy family, Dangote founded the Dangote Group in the 80s. The company has since grown into a conglomerate with interest in a wide range of sectors, including cement, sugar, salt, flour, and real estate. Dangote Group is also the largest employer of labor currently in Nigeria. He has himself private jets, the Dangote refinery, and so many landmark projects to his name. Currently, Aliko Dangote's net worth is estimated to be over $13.5 billion, making him the richest person in Africa. Thank you for joining us on this eye-opening journey through Lagos Sea of Billionaires. For more incredible insights and stories, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned with us. Remember, dreams can come true, and Lagos is a proof of that. Until next time, keep chasing your dream and let's celebrate the astonishing wealth of this remarkable city.